Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Stand Gamers, and welcome to episode 22 of Space Engineers. So, I had a rather interesting comment in the last video. Someone said, instead of adding weapons to a turret, what would happen if you added a drill? And I thought, well, this is a pretty smart idea, this sounds really good. So, I tried it out, so this is the early variant before I moved on to bigger and better things, you could say. And, basically, it's a small ship with another small ship on the top, with a little hinge and sort of turret sort of mechanism. But you can drill, you can do 360 drilling, you can do all the drilling you want. But the one issue that I've noticed with it is that you miss collecting a lot of the small stones that you mine. So I'll just take you over to an example. So down here, we have some areas that could do with some serious mining. Uh, I think we'll just pull up to the side because we can since we've got a turret, we don't have to face it. We can just park up. It'd be really cool, just imagine a load of like mining vessels like this one, just leaving like a mother sort of ship, and then coming down, and then us all working together, doing a little bit of mining. So, right, we've got that contact. And now what we need to do is get into our smaller ship, engage the power mechanism, and then disengage the locks on the landing gear, so we can actually move our turret three freely. So, let's begin some mining. So, you can just tell how awesome this is, or how awesome it could be. So we've got some serious mining going there, you've got to be careful not to pressure it too much on the back end, but you've still got quite a good area to actually arc around. There, beautiful. So that was the first example, and I thought, right, I can't just stop there. I've got to make this on an empire sort of scale, a scale where a massive big colony or a company or someone else could use it to like benefit themselves. So this is what I made up. It's like a small barge. You could obviously incorporate this into a large mining ship. You can have a whole... Just imagine this is one side of the mining ship. I'll explain how it works. So on top, you've got two small ships with drills. And basically, what these drills can do is they can actually drill into the rocks, of course. And then what happens is we apply a gravity generator. It all gets sucked down into this little vent here. And then what happens from there is it actually gets thrown into the back of this truck. As you can see here, I've disengaged all the gravity generators, but the stones are still in there. But what I'll do first is I realign that truck because it is clearly off-center. So we're in the little goods delivery van, so what would happen is this van would then ship it off, back off to the planet, or you could just bag it all up and put it in a crate. It's probably easier that way, but you know. You know how I like to overcomplicate things. Um, so we just need to align this up here. Um, and we need to disengage landing gears and then move it over like so and then angle it and then we should have a perfect alignment so oh shit proximity there we go alright so that's now aligned it's not locked in place but it's aligned so let's get in this far turret and let's get some of this work done so the first thing we need to do is activate our original gravity generator so we press K on here and we generate that one on. So that now sucks everything down and we can actually begin doing some mining. So let's get in this little vehicle. So from this little vehicle you can control both the motors you see on the side of the big ship. So I can move this quite freely anywhere I want. Obviously it's slow because it's heavy and I'm using a small ship to move it but let's get some mining done. So obviously there's a lot of inertia that you've got to deal with. You can see the stones being thrown back down did I, did I turn the wrong generator on? Oh, Jesus, I may have to turn the wrong one on. Yes, I've turned the wrong gravity generator on. So everything just flew out the side. <sighs> right. That's what happens when you don't name them correctly, but there is no way of naming them, is there? Is there any way of naming them? No, you can only name beacons, I think. Uh, right. That's another little thing you could do. If you, see, if you see this video, let me name everything. Right, so now the rock should be sucked down. You see how the rock's been now sucked down? We're out of drill space, so we need to move over here a little bit. So you end up drilling perfect circles when you're using this ship, and that's what I really like about it. So let's just do a little bit more so we can actually have a collection of rocks up at the bottom. So here we go. And we'll cut that about there, shall we? Right, now let's have a look what we've actually collected in the hopper below. So we might have a lot, we might have a little. So this is what we've got collected in the bottom, just a little bit at the moment. But the thing is, the thing with these stones is, once you get a load of them, they do actually add up to quite a lot. I mean, you could just imagine how much stone you'd end up being wasted. 
So what we need to do now is load everything into our hopper on the back there. So to do this, we need to disengage this gravity generator. So gravity generator this one off and then you send this one on. So everything should just go flying down there into the back of our truck. So has it worked? Yes it has. So the only thing we need to do now is either seal this off or collect all these up and then put them away. But to be honest I'd be lazy and just seal the back of the truck off and then send it away. So there's one more thing I want to show you anyway. This is completely different from mining. But I decided to build an armory. So the assault rifle and the armory is down this ladder, this sort of chute, because I wanted it to be concealed within the containers so no one can get my equipment and weapons. So moving down here, now we're in the armory. So this is the armory. We've got weapons laid out on all the tables. Let's take a light jet back off. So we've got weapons all across all these tables, and we've got a load as well in supply here. Something interesting that you might not know, um, this is just something I found out. So if you right click and drag and move it to here, it asks how many would you like to add to that inventory. Um, and I didn't realise this straight away, but if you just type in one, you can, drag, you can get one gun, and then that's how I did this. Basically just added one gun, did this, drop one over here. Then you've got another one. Obviously, be a bit more careful. You don't want to drop it on the floor. But you could just imagine that. Right, quick, the station's under attack. And just let you grab an assault rifle. Then you off you go upstairs up to battle. And someone said this would make a pretty cool PvP area. And I definitely agree with them on that one. Oh, Jesus, where the hell have we gone? So I've moved back to the surface. And my question for you guys today is what do you think? And what are your expectations of multiplayer? Are you expecting something where it will be a constant war with constant survival where you just have to scavenge to get by or are you expecting something like people are merged together and set up civilizations, organizations, groups and like that and then try to survive like that or will it just be an endless struggle for war where the people that work together dominate the planets and take most of the resources? Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.